Hi all. Uh, in this video, I will provide detailed solution for week 3 electric vehicle part 1 week 3 assignment. Uh, question number 1 to 6 based on the following data consider an EV with mass of 1500 kg and mu r mu r that is rolling resistance coefficient is 0 0.015 assume linear inertial mass to be 0 and cumulative dry line efficiency to be 82 percentage neglecting aerodynamic force and when the road gradient is 75 7.5 percentage the vehicle speed is 36 km per hour so this is the given data mass is given 1500 kg rolling resistance coefficient new rr 0 0.015 efficiency 82 percentage road gradient 7.5 that is 7.5 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.075 here force due to linear inertia mass is 0 and force due to aerodynamic also 0 these are the given data and question number one the gradient angle theta so we need to calculate gradient angle theta so to find uh, the symbol for gradient angle is theta already given so the formula for calculating theta tan theta is equal to road gradient road gradient already given 0 0.075 from this we can calculate theta tan inverse of 0.075 is equal to 4.2892 degree uh, approximate value corresponding to this one is first option uh, that is 4.3053 this is the correct option one is correct answer now second question the opposing force due to friction force so the frictional force can be represented by frr we need to calculate so formula for this is frr is equal to nu rr mg cos theta nu rr is given rolling resistance coefficient 0 0.015 and m is 1500 g gravitational constant 9.81 and cos theta so this theta calculated in previous question yes so while solving this we get 220.10 newton so the correct answer is option And third question the force due to gravity uh, force due to gravity can be written as fg so formula for calculating this is fg is equal to mg sin theta m value 1500 g value 9.81 and sin theta again same theta 4.3053 while solving this we get answer 1104.67 approximate this value to 1104 newton so this is, that is option 2 1104 newton now the fourth question total tractive effort we need to calculate so that is represented by fte tractive effort is nothing but fte so formula for calculating this is fte is equal to frr plus fg so these two value are already calculated from previous questions so this value already calculated 220.1 and fg value 1104 while adding these two value we get 1324 newton the correct answer is option 4 1424 newton now move on to fifth question power at wheel we need to calculate so the representation of power at wheel is equal to pw so formula for calculating this is pw is equal to fte into v so here the given data v in kilometer per hour 36 kilometer hour we need to convert that into meter per hour so for that we have to multiply by 1000 divided by 3600 so now simply substitute fte value and velocity value in this formula and we get the answer 13240 watts so convert that watts into kilowatts then we get 13.24 so correct answer for this particular question is option 4 13.248 kilowatt so power at motor soft so far uh, that is represented by pm so we have the formula pm is equal to pw divided by epsilon pw value is calculated in the previous section uh, question uh, 13,200
is equal to 16,152. Convert this value into kilowatt, we get 16.15 kilowatt. The correct answer is 16.15. Option 2. Here instead of kilowatt, they mentioned watt. This is wrong. So the answer is 16.15 kilowatt. Question number 7 to 8 based on the following. An electric vehicle is accelerating at 2 meter per second squared and the speed of vehicle at t is equal to 0 is 36 km per hour. So these are the given data acceleration 2 meter per second squared v at t is equal to 0 is equal to 36 km per hour. So we need to convert this value into meter per hour for that you have to multiply 1000 and divide by 3600 while solving this we get 10 meter per second. Now the question number 7 is what will be the velocity at t is equal to 6 seconds. So velocity at t is equal to 6 and we need to calculate. So this is the formula v is equal to u plus a t. So v is equal to u value is given that is 10 meter per second plus a value is 2 meter per second squared into time is given 6. While solving this we get the answer as 22 meter per seconds. But the options given are in kilometer per hour. So for that you have to convert this meter per second into kilometer per hour. So for that you have to multiply 3600 divided by 1000. So we get the answer 79.2 kilometer per hour. The correct answer for this particular question is option A 79.2 kilometer per hour. Then question number 8 in how much time it will uh, will the vehicle attain 1000 sorry 180 kilometer per hour. So we need to calculate time in seconds. So again we have to use same formula. From this formula we can take v, t is equal to v minus u divided by a. So here v value is 180 and u value is 36 divided by 2. a value is 2. So these velocities are in kilometer per hour. So we need to convert that into meter per second. For that you have to multiply 1000 divided by 3600. While solving this we get the answer. This is simply seconds only 20 seconds the correct answer is 20 seconds option is 3 correct answer is option 3 the ninth question uh, answer 9 and question based on the this data if the mass of the vehicle is 1200 kg the total tractive effort 2800 newton and force due to rolling friction is 2500 given data M is 1200, FT is equal to 2800, FRR is equal to 2500. So now the question number 9 is what is accelerating force of the vehicle? So accelerating force FA we need to calculate. The formula for this one is FTE minus FRR that is 2800 minus 2500 is equal to 300 Newton. Now the, the correct answer is option 4. 10th question what will be the velocity at t is equal to 300 second is the vehicle start from rest. So again v at t is equal to 300 second we have to calculate. So here f is equal to ma this f is nothing but accelerating force. So for that you have to calculate take this value as 300 from the previous answer. 300 is equal to m value 1200 into v by t. Again t value is given 300 from this we calculate v 75 meter per second. We will try to upload additional question on each week portion shortly. Thank you. Subscribe C Lectures YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you.